Brooding is a heating system by which the chicks are kept warm for growing up properly. It is an important technical feature in rearing chicks. In this method, day-old chicks are reared till its feathers are grown. Generally, it takes 30 to 35 days for feathers to grow, replacing its downy coat. During this time, 70 to 80 percent of the chicks die due to weak management and inappropriate temperature maintenance. For this reason, chicks should be reared with proper management and right temperature as they are not able to control their own body temperature. Day-old chicks are brooded in two ways. Firstly, the natural brooding system where the chicks are reared by mother herself. Secondly, without a mother, where the chick is reared by artificial heating and care. Family poultry brooding system is not a usual practice, but once adopted, there are significant gains in terms of increased number of birds, shorter cycle to sell, and more economically sustainable production system. In Swaziland, the mortality of chicks within one month is 67 to 70 percent and only 30 to 33 percent of the chicks reach maturity. However, there are successful examples like in Ethiopia where hay box brooders are constructed to local conditions aimed at developing national baby chicks extension package. Hay is stuffed very loosely between the sides of the boxes along the center nest and the top of the boxes are covered with sacks filled with hay. Chick runs of appropriate dimensions are constructed and fitted to each box. The boxes and runs are thoroughly cleaned, splashed with boiling water, repaired and reused when required. In Swaziland, broody hens are used for natural incubation of hatching eggs. Usually, natural brooding is used to provide warmth for baby chicks and in this way, hens rear their own chicks. Broody nest is made for the broody hen and 10 to 12 fertile eggs arranged in the nest for natural incubation. Broody hen sits on the egg for up to 21 days. Farmers usually places the eggs in the nest at night, so chicks will have a dry and fresh environment when they hatch. Farmers set up brooding nest at a special site for reproduction that is isolated from others. To keep them safe, brooding nests are placed in a high place such as a small tree. Breeding birds, hens and cocks are reared at the reproduction site. At this site, hens lay and hatch eggs. After hatching, day-old chicks are transferred to productive site under a brooding room and reared here for up to one month with proper temperature control and feeding. When they reach one month of age, chicks are transferred to another shed and reared under the semi-scavenging system until marketing at seven to eight months of age. Farmer separates baby chicks from the mother hen after hatching. They keep these chicks in a box with ash and dry grass and place this box beside the stove in the kitchen for two weeks before transferring the production site. Farmer makes fire in the stove to keep the room warm. Sometimes they keep hot water in bottles to keep place warm when fire is not there. In Laos, chicks are heated during the day 
and kept in a warm location of the house during the night. In Kenya, brooders are commonly referred to use biogas space heaters as they are available in the market. Space heaters are used for housewarming during the cold months and farmers use this space heater for brooding young chicks. In Bangladesh, day one chick has been collected from mini hatcheries and taken to the chick rearing unit. One day old chicks are reared by artificial heating in a correct method up to four weeks. Now, let us see how an artificial brooding system has been developed in Bangladesh. The brooding room should be at flood free, dry and open land with clean water facilities and electric supply. Estimated 0.5 square feet or 0.045 square meter space is required for each of the chickens. So 300 chicken need a 150 square feet or 15 feet into 10 feet which is equivalent to 4.6 meter into 3.1 meter house. It is to be remembered that one should use locally available, low cost and durable materials to build the room. Dry wood shavings, rice husk and hay can be used for litter bedding in the brooding house. The bedding materials should be leveled and sprayed to a thickness of 5 to 10 centimeter which is 2 to 4 inches. Do this a week or two before the bird arrive just in case the material is damp. Brooder is extremely important for rearing day old chicks. At least 200 to 250 chicks can be reared in a 0.3 meter or 3 feet diameter umbrella like hoover of a brooder. There are three pieces of 100 watt bulbs at equal distance in the hoover. At least two switches are needed to control the temperature. Chick guards are round frames made with bamboo sheet, hardboard and iron sheets. The surrounding cupboard chick guard serves several purposes. It keeps the birds confined so they are in closer contact with desirable temperature, feed and water. It keeps draft away from the flock and the circular chick guard eliminates corner. All classes of poultry will head for corners if they are frightened or too hot or too cold. Almost everyone who has raised poultry at one time or another has experienced losses due to birds piling up in a corner. There are many types of drinker that is available for the chicks. In case of unavailability, aluminium or plastic pots can be used. Two types of feeder are used depending on the age of the chicks. One is used up to one week and the other one for the older than one week. In case of unavailability, aluminium or plastic pots can be used. All the chick rearing equipments including the chick room should be cleaned, disinfected and left to dry. Everything including the brooder and the chick cart should be ready. There should be sheets of paper laid over the litter bedding for the first two days. Required waterer are kept in the room so that all the chicks can find water easily estimating 1.5 liters for 50 chicks. Brooder is switched on to make the temperature rise up to 95 degree Fahrenheit or 35 degree Celsius. Switch the brooder on at least two hours before the chickens arrive so that the area is warmed 
and the necessary adjustment of temperature can be made. Day 1 chick should be released into the chick guard as soon as they reach the chick room. The chicks are given food directly on the sheets of paper spread over the litter bedding. As chicks eat little and slowly, they are fed four times daily at the morning, noon, afternoon and night for one or two days. The chicks are fed 10 gram daily in the first week. The temperature of the brooder is observed at times through a thermometer and the room temperature is maintained at 95 degrees Fahrenheit or 35 degrees Celsius. The chicks are piled together at lower temperature and they will eat and behave normally at the standard temperature. Excepting hot and humid days, the ventilators should be covered with thick cloth or hessian at night. The brooder temperature should be checked and the door of brooding room should be kept closed at night. Washing his or her legs, the worker should enter into the room and check whether the cheeks and the temperature are okay. Then the water pot should be taken outside the cheek guard and cleaned with potash before they are filled again. The cheeks are given food 10 gram daily at morning, noon, afternoon and night on paper. Washing his or her hands and legs the worker should enter into the room and check whether the chicks are okay. Then the waterer and feeder should be taken outside and cleaned with disinfectant before they are filled again inside the brooder. Papers are removed and each hundred chicks are given food in 18 into 4 square inches which is equivalent to 45 into 10 square centimeter metal, wooden, bamboo, or even earthen pots. Chicks should be vaccinated for Newcastle disease within three to five days. Cleaning, filling waterers and feeder pots in four times every day, checking whether the litter bed is wet or not, measuring brooder temperature and so on should be done routine-wise and regularly. The brooder temperature should be lowered to 90 degrees Fahrenheit or 32.2 degrees Celsius at the second week. The daily feeding is raised from 10 gram to 15 gram per chick and given four times as usual. The chicks are given vaccines for gumboro disease at the beginning and for fowl pox at the end of this week. At third week, Brooder temperature is lowered to 85 degree Fahrenheit or 29 degrees Celsius. The daily feeding is raised further to 20 gram per chick. Feed should be supplied three times in a day. Dryness of the litter is checked and the litter is made in three inches which is 7.5 centimeter thick and turned upside down at times. The chicks are administered Gumboro vaccine again this week. Other regular activities are done as usually. At fourth week, brooder temperature is lowered to 80 degree Fahrenheit 
or 26.6 degrees Celsius. Feed should be supplied three times a day and feed is raised to 26 gram per chick than previous week. Chick guards can be taken aside to the corner of the room. Within the 25th to 28th day, fowl pox vaccine and booster dose of Newcastle vaccine should be administered again. To let the ammonia gas out of the room, all the windows should be kept open at noon regularly and all other routine activities should be done as usually. In conclusion, we can say three types of rural poultry brooding techniques which are followed by the family poultry producers. One, natural brooding. Chicks are reared by the hen until they are naturally mature. Two, restricted natural brooding, where chicks are reared by the hen for one month and then removed from their mother. Three, artificial brooding, where chicks are removed from the hen within one day of hatching and kept in a box with ash and dry grass in a warm place. After hatching from mini hatchery, more day one chicks are reared by artificial heating in a correct method up to four weeks. Thank you. Thank you.